Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my top rated, most favorite underscarves um, that I wear. Um, literally the best that I've found over the past like two or three years that I've been wearing the hijab. And those would be the underscarves from Haut Hijab. Um, now they are on the pricey side, but trust me, it's worth it. Um, if you want to save your hair, um, cause I know as a hijabi, like your hair gets a beating. Like if you're wearing cotton underscarves every single day, it, your hair takes a beating because it, one, dries it out, um, two, might cause hair receding issues. Um, but the cool thing about this underscarf is that it has satin underneath and the satin really helps lock in moisture into your hair. Um, something else I want to say is that this isn't like a paid promotion or I'm not being sponsored by Hojab. This is just something that I have found and I love. So I wanted to like kind of tip you guys off on, um, you know, this underscarf. I don't want to gatekeep, <laughs> you know. I wear both of these like interchangeably every single day. And because it's black and mink, like it's a nude color, you can wear it like literally with any hijab. So the reason that I decided to go from wearing cotton underscarves to something that's more of like a cap um, is because I had really, really long hair when I started wearing the hijab and I noticed that it wouldn't fit well into like the cotton hijabs that have like the, let me show you. Like, you know, the cotton, the standard cotton hijab that has like the, it's a tube and it just goes over, like this part is showing in the front and then this is in the back. And then your hair kind of like, it's not like a surefire like hijab friendly thing, I think. Because literally since I had so much hair, my hair would either fall at the back and you could see it if I was wearing a chiffon hijab, which is not hijab. Um, or like I would have to tie it in the back like to keep my hair from showing like I would tie it like this into like a little knot so that my hair wouldn't come out and it would like kind of create its own little cap but then when I did that like it would pull back on this part because I had so much hair but it would just like slide back and it was not comfortable at all it hurt my ears I did not rec I would not recommend that um so I was like constantly on the search for something that would that would work for my level of hair, like for how much hair that I have. So this is gr really great for girls that have curly hair. I read a lot of the reviews before buying um, these underscarves on Ho Hijab and a lot of women that have, they're not even hijabis, but women with like curly hair, they would buy these and wear them at night as their bonnet at night and it would keep their hair super nice and super um, silky. It's also nice to wear um, if you have, if you get your hair styled, um, it keeps your hair really nice and curly. So let me talk about like the functionality of it. Um, so the first thing that I loved was that it's a cap. So, um, and it's very like stretchy. So you can have all your hair literally in the back and it stretches to however how big your hair is. Like if you've got lots of hair or if you're somebody that loves wearing like super voluminous scrunchies underneath your hijab, then this is like a perfect hijab for you because it literally like shapes to your hair. Um, it also keeps your hair very moisturized and silky because of the satin under piece. Um, and one of the best features for me, I think, is that it has a drawstring. And this is like super, super like nice because as you can see, it's, it's a pretty big, um, it's a pretty big uh, underscarf. And so in order for it to kind of like match your head shape and your size, you really need this drawstring because it allows the hair to be pulled in, like pulled and tucked in so it doesn't fall out. And it also makes it so this doesn't slide back because you can make it as tight as possible um, and it won't slide back, which is really nice. And so the only, the only downside is that the only two colors they offer are this onyx one which is like a black. Um, and then they offer this mink color, which is like a very neutral, uh, like tan-ish shade, nude shade, which is, if they had to do any colors, I would pick these two, honestly. 
Um, but hopefully in the future, inshallah, they make more colors um, so that I can match my hijabs with different colors. Because sometimes I don't like having like two different, you know, pieces, like an underscarf and then a scarf that's like two different colors. Sometimes it doesn't look as like put together. Um, so inshallah in the future, they'll come out with better, like not better colors, but more colors. So the only con that I can see with this hijab is the price. <laughs> and so each one of these is $50. So if you want one of these, you have to pay $50 to get it. But trust me, it's worth it. Like this thing will save your hair. It'll save its moisture, save its texture. Um, and for like years to come. And this thing, like I've had it for, I think like a year or two, both of these, and they've held up. Like I've put them in the washer multiple times. Um, and they have literally held up so they're I definitely I just recommend them like seriously go get them now um if you're somebody that struggles with especially for me because I had so much hair when I first started wearing the hijab it was so annoying like the amount of pressure that I was feeling up here and my hair kept on getting tugged back and tugged back and it hurt I would get headaches at the end of the, at the end of the day so I really wanted something that would kind of evenly distribute my hair um, and also like take the pressure off of like my scalp so much. And this really does that. Um, it really like evens out and distributes the, the pressure. And I, I really, I rarely ever am thinking like, wow, this hurts or like, wow, I don't want to wear this. You know what I mean? So I don't think I've ever had that thought, honestly, because they're, they're so comfortable. Um, and it's definitely worth the price, I would say, because I wear these literally interchangeable every single day. I've gotten so much use out of them over the past year. It's so worth it. So, so worth it. So if you're, if you're thinking about making the investment, I would say do it. Um, I know $50 is a lot and it's not affordable for probably most people. Um, but in the long run, it definitely will be worth it. Um, so I would, I would definitely recommend. So yeah, so that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to kind of show you guys the underscarves that I wear literally every single day, um, and recommend like wholeheartedly. Um, so yeah, go get you some and let me know in the comments if you tried it before, um, or if there's another brand that you recommend that has a satin underlining. Um, yeah, let me know. All right, guys. Assalamualaikum.